Good afternoon. I'm still reporting on the growing anti-Trump prosecutorial army. In case anyone still thought Robert Mueller's army of New York prosecutors had any concept of justice or fair play in mind for President Trump, the latest addition to Mueller's Democrat attack squad should serve as a potent reminder. Former FBI Director Robert Mueller, who the MSM is still lauding to the hilt, just as they did James Comey as he was going through his confirmation hearings for FBI Director, has just added probably the most dangerous New York prosecutor to his rat pack of get Trumpers, Andrew Weissman. According to Sidney Powell, who worked in the Justice Department for 10 years and authored the book Licensed to Lie, Exposing Corruption in the Department of Justice, Weissman led the elite Enron task force formed in 1991. The task force quickly devolved into a cabal that used mob tactics itself, Powell said in a Newsmax article dated June 7th. It dealt the death penalty to the venerable accounting firm of Arthur Anderson, LLP, which employed 85,000 people worldwide and represented approximately 2,500 publicly traded companies. Powell said that Weissman will win a trial at any cost and characterized Weissman's Enron trial as a trial rife with prosecutorial misconduct. Weissman's team even coerced a guilty plea out of Anderson partner David Duncan. After finding out these facts, the judge allowed Mr. Duncan to withdraw his guilty plea. Three years later, the U.S. Supreme Court unanimously reversed the conviction of accounting firm Arthur Anderson. The justices agreed it was shocking how little criminal culpability the jury instructions required. Andrew Weissman helped rewrite those jury instructions. Weissman's bullying tactics are well known. Weissman supervised the prosecution of four Merrill Lynch executives and often made multiple phone calls to lawyers for potential defense witnesses, threatening the indictment of anyone who might testify for the defense. To top that off, Weissman and team hid evidence that was favorable to the defense and hid it for six years while four Merrill executives served a year in prison. According to Sidney Powell, Weissman left the Enron task force amid escalating allegations of prosecutorial misconduct. All of the cases they actually tried, and at least two of the guilty pleas they coerced, were reversed. Not only has our Department of Justice failed to drain the swamp, it has just restocked it with a swamp monster who has proven that he is willing to do anything to win. When prosecutors break the law, there is no law. President Trump cannot allow this group of super pro-Hillary New York prosecutors to shred his family's reputation in similar fashion. The MSM claims that if the president fired Mueller and his boss in DOJ, Rosenstein, that would certainly lead to impeachment. That, of course, is nonsense. It's not hard to see what the Clinton cabal is cooking up for the Trumps. No good. And they will do anything to achieve their ends. Their game is to slowly, bit by bit, bind the president until it's too late. No, the president owes it to we, the American people, to go down swinging, not wait until his hands are completely hogtied. I'm still reporting from Washington. Good day.